Well, hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about using updatable BAQs in Epicor version 10.2. Updatable BAQs, business activity queries, are queries that include tables and fields which normally are read only, but also include one or more fields, usually only a few, that are updatable. I'll be providing a, a couple of examples, but many more are possible. The examples today that are shown are some that are provided for practical use at various companies. The benefits of updatable BAQs are that you can update many records at one time in a list view if you would like. You can also choose to add new records using an updatable BAQ. In addition, once you develop an updatable BAQ, you can add it to a dashboard for easier employee data entry. So this outline describes our topics for today and the following slides will cover each topic individually. Just about any data that you want to review or change within Epicor should start with a well thought out plan. So defining the needs of your updatable BAQ is essential. Once you have a plan, you move on to designing the BAQ. Next you will change your query to an updatable query by checking the updatable checkbox and defining how the update will work. Test your updatable BAQ within the BAQ Query Designer using the Analyze tab to make sure it works as expected before moving the updatable BAQ to a dashboard. Once you add the BAQ to a dashboard, you should again test before publishing your dashboard. After creating one easy updatable BAQ, employees may find it very useful and you will want to think of many more updatable BAQs to make your company operate more efficiently. Here we show the planned layout of columns that the BAQ name and the dashboard name. You could also define prompts, sorts, and filters, etc. These all help to define what the needs of your updatable BAQ are. We show an example of a customer updatable BAQ on top where we can add new customers and change information. For example, if a sales rep leaves the company and we need to move all of his or her customers to another sales rep. An example of an updatable part query is shown on the lower half of the slide. The plan is to only allow updating the min, max, and safety quantities on the part. First you start with creating a basic BAQ. Start by designing a normal BAQ with the fields, layouts, sorts, parameters, criteria, etc., etc., that you need in your BAQ to return the results that include the fields you want to see and the fields that you want to update. Here we are including the fields for a part and a part plant to have the part and description along with the min, max, and safety quantities. You analyze and test this query just as you would any other query and then save your changes once you're happy. Your BAQ may include more than one table and also may include additional calculations, etc., which should be tested before making it an, an updatable query. Next, you'll change your BAQ to an updatable BAQ. There are a few required steps to change your query to an updatable query. First, you need to check the updatable checkbox on the general tab for your query. Next, go to the Update tab and the General Properties tab to select if you will allow new records to be created or allow multiple rows to be updated before saving the update. In addition, on this tab you will be able to select which fields will be allowed to be updated. Next, change your BAQ to be updatable continued here. We're going to go ahead and look at the Update tab and the Update Processing tab and select the Business Object. Using a BPM update, select the Business Object and the method you'll use for your updatable BAQ. Once you select the Business Object and Method, verify or select the tables to update on the right are shown correct. Notice the two lower tabs which have an expression shown in the last column. Epicor will usually fill in the expression, but you can fill them in if they are empty or if you need to change the values of the expression. Then you go ahead and test your updatable BAQ. Here we are testing the part 
min and max and safety updatable BA queue. To test your query you'll go to the analyze tab and click the get list button. After you click the get list button a warning will appear and you can answer yes to this warning. It's saying that it would have caused changes to the database but it's really only reading the database to get the list of potentials to update. After the list is displayed you can double click any row in the BAQ results and you'll be able to update a value. Here you can see the values are updated for the min, max, and safety values. You can continue double clicking rows that you want to up update. Once you have updated all of the values that you want to update or a number of them, then you will want to actually update the database. You'll click the, click the update button for the staged updates to be put in place. Again answer yes that you really want to update the data. You can verify your updated data again by clicking the get list button. So now you can t also test your BAQ within an updatable dashboard. When you add your BAQ to the dashboard you'll need to change the grid properties to make the grid updatable and select the fields you will be prompted for updates. And then you go ahead and test your updatable BAQ in an updatable dashboard before deployment using the test option found under the tools then deployment selection. You'll click the refresh button to get the list of items to be available to be updated. The fields that can be updated will be enabled and usually white unless you have another color scheme possibly and you can make the changes in the list view directly but they will not be updated until you click the save button. Continue to make as many changes as needed and then click the save button. Notice the values for the non-updatable fields do not update until you click the refresh button. The sales rep code Tyler will then update the sailor's rep name to Scott Tyler. What other updatable BAQs can you create? These are a few examples of ideas for updatable BAQs to get started with. Updating tracking numbers on packing slips, parts now ordered by a different buyer, parts that change to a different product group, updating prices on a price list. These are just a few ideas to get started with. You'll come up with more on your own, I'm sure. And now we'll take a look at a few examples in Epicor 10.2. So here we can see the updatable BAQ for customers. You can see it's marked as updatable and we can see the fields that we selected and we're left out or joining on the sales rep table to get the sales rep name. We don't have anything special about the tables other than the left join to get the sales rep name. When we go to the update tab we can see we have selected that all the fields except for the company and customer num and the sales rep name are updatable. If we go to the and we're going to also allow a new record and allow a multiple row update. We go to the update processing we can see that we've selected the business object of ERP customer and the update method is the update extended. And on the right we can see that we're going to update the customer table. Note that using the common BPM update you can only choose tables that are within the same data set to update. And we mentioned that the expression field is automatically filled in and if you wanted to you can also change the expression field. And the same goes for the expression field on this tab. You can change them if you'd like to. So now we'll go ahead and go to the Analyze tab and since it's an updatable query you'll be look, working with the right side of the testing options on your Analyze tab. So we're going to go ahead and get the list and we'll get the warning and yes we want to continue and we'll get a list of all the customers that are in Epicor 10 to database and here we can see we have 42 rows. So we can go ahead and change anything we want to that's not the company or customer or sales rep name by just double clicking an item 
and then changing whatever we'd like to change. So we'll just add an apartment here. And just remember that was on Northern Machine. And we'll go to Chicago Lease. Notice the updatable, the updated record is yellow until we actually do the updated. We'll add a PO box here. Okay, so now we can see the two records are updated or are selected to be updated. And um, that is because we chose allow multiple rows to be updated at once. So the actual update does not take place until we click the update button. For example, if we did a get list again, they would return back to what they were, no second address here. But we're going to go ahead and say update. And then notice on the bottom it tells you that query returned two rows and there was no error. So now if we did the get list again, we should see our 42 rows and we should see those two updates, Chicago Lease and Northern Machining. If we want to add a new record, we would have to do the get new. And so Epicor will automatically assign the customer number, so we'll put in a customer ID. And we'll say OK after we have all the information that we wanted to be updated there. Again, it shows in yellow and nothing is updated until we click the update button. And now we can see it shows the query returned one row and no errors. And if we scroll to the bottom, here we can see our new customer was automatically assigned a customer ID and we gave the sales rep code lane and all the information that we filled in. So now we'll go ahead and do the get list again. And that was customer 49, I think it said. So I'll sort by 40, by the customer code. There we can see after we did the get list that the sales rep name was filled in as Penny Lane. Now we'll look at the example on a dashboard. And here we'll look at the updatable parts dashboard where we can change the min max and safety information. So we'll go to tools, deploy dashboard, and then test application in order to be able to test your dashboard. So we'll refresh the dashboard to get all the values. And it's kind of hard to see, but the last three columns are white, which means they can be updated. So we'll select any row to update. Here I have 00K1, it looks like. And we can just start typing in some values here. And we can go to the next row and continue typing in values. So there we can see we updated those two values. However, they're not really updated until we go ahead and click the Save button. And that's the 00KA and 00CK1. So we'll click the Save. Notice it says it's saving data down on the bottom. And we'll refresh. And there we can see the two rows that we updated. 00CK1 and 00KA. So then you would continue with deploying your dashboard, but I was just demoing the updatable part of it, so that concludes our demo. Updating, updating, updating. Epicor wants us to update using the tools they provide, such as updatable BAQs and updatable dashboards, rather than using any other update procedure that they have not approved. Using these tools, you'll still follow the Epicor programming rules and presumably your data does not get corrupted. Create your updatable queries in your test, training, or pilot, wherever your sandbox is, environments, and prove that they work as you expect and have no issues before moving them to live. Thank you for watching our presentation today. Be sure to check out additional presentations on Coda Bear's YouTube site and go ahead and send us an email if you would like to be included in 
future presentations when they are live during our lunch and learns.